Hey, what's up guys? My name is Jack, otherwise known as Jack R Design on Instagram and YouTube. I'm a graphic designer slash illustrator from Sheffield, UK, and I get inspired by everything from my day-to-day -day life. Anything can be my inspiration. Today, I'm going to be going through how I've been using Adobe Stock to use as reference images and also to get textures to help create this piece. Let's just get straight into it. So you want to start off with making your artboard. I always go over square format at 1080 pixels. Then once you've done that, head on over to Adobe Stock and get your reference images. I got this lovely boat and then some extra ones to do with space. Following that, you want to start breaking everything down into basic shapes. So just start drawing some rectangles and some circles just so then you can start learning how your subject's been put together. I like to use this luminous pink just so I can see it when I'm making my marks. Doing this really just takes all of the guesswork out of illustrating when you go on to the next stage. Now we can start using those basic shapes that we did before and start constructing our main outline. This is probably my favourite stage of the process as this is where things really start to take shape and you get that more refined shape for your subject. So what you want to start doing here is using those shapes and then start adding anchor points, rounding off the corners so you can start getting that desired shape. I like to vary my stroke whips in my pieces, it just really gives it that extra 3D look and feel that I'm always going for when I'm illustrating. I also like to use a custom brush set that I made myself in Adobe Illustrator. Here I'm making use of some textures that I found on Adobe Stock. It really helps me add that wood grain effect to some of the elements of my main subject. When it comes to adding shadows to my piece, I like to keep it nice and simple. So I just use the pen tool to make a basic shadow base color and then start using the pen tool also to add some extra strokes to my shadow just so it has more depth. I always like to have my light source coming from the top left of all my pieces so the shadows will fall on the opposite side. Before I add my highlights, I also like to add the base color just so then when I'm adding my highlights, I can actually see them because if you do it on a white background, obviously, they're not going to be very visible. So now that my shadows and highlights have been added, what I want to start doing now is adding the rest of the colour to my piece. And then also using this time to start refining things like adding extra highlights or shadows and then start getting everything into proportion. After that, I want to start adding the main shadow so then it looks like my subject is on a surface. Here I started to add some of the elements to go into my background, so the planets which are going to look like they're underwater, so underneath the boat. So for these I just use basic shapes like circles and then use tools like the Pathfinder tool to make my shadows and then also brought in that lovely texture from Adobe Stock to put a texture onto one of the planets that I'm using. And then I also wanted to start adding my main background colour. I'm going back up a layer now to one of the top layers. So now that I've got my background added, I want to start adding the ripple effects because I want this boat to look like it's going over the sea and the planets are underwater. For this I just used the pen tool and then also used some white fill and then added a gradient into the colour just so then it added a bit of a fade onto the ripple effect from the boat. For this stage I'm really just adding those finishing touches, so adding the stars into the background. I like to use different sized stars just to add a little bit more sense of space into the piece shooting stars and then last minute decided to throw in this extra planet just under the boat. Nearly done with this piece now, all that's left to do is just add in some final finishing touches and then export our final piece.
So thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you learned a thing or two about illustrating in Adobe Illustrator and how I use Adobe Stock for reference images. If you want to see more of my work, you can find me on Instagram at Jack R Design and also on YouTube with Jack Royal Design. I'll see you there. Peace.